What up, Dynasties? Welcome back to Hot Market Guide, guys. I'm going to show you some little tricks and cherries right now when the game is kind of dying out, fading away, and we're going to start thinking about next year's game. So, if you guys want to have fun and not spend any money, the Market Guide is kind of going to help you out for now to practice little tricks and trades in the market. So, I'm going to show you. Jay Bosemeister, he's actually the new card just came out of Stanley Cup card because this is probably the best example I'm going to show you right now. There's only one card up in the market at 350k, and by now it's about 500k. Uh, so pretty much what we're going to do is it's only one market on the on there, and we don't know what his value is yet. So there's no value. I can try to look at the other two cards that came out too. The a rally. So it's a rally 94 a rally. I don't think it's everything would be exactly the same. Yeah, the couple cards are here. Here's a good example, okay? So now there are about five cards up there for a rally. We don't know like if you want to buy one or flip one, we don't know the value. So we go to the find the expensive card in here. So the expensive cards 685 okay you you actually write that down so we'll say a rally and you put 685 okay you write that down and you find the cheapest one on the market I think the cheapest is this one right here this one right here about 559k I wouldn't go start price I always go buy now because start price usually this is the people want to bid bid could go up to the bid buy now and then they have the person has to buy it so I would just go buy now that the highest so then you know the you know that so anything lower than the buy now of the lowest card on the market I would scoop up and then resell so I'm gonna show you a little graph that I have that I players I do have on the market all right no, not on the market I do look at on a daily basis to see what the price value is and like Pasenak he been up and down I thought he'd be going down a little bit more but he didn't so pretty much I'm gonna go to let's go to, let's go to Terrace let's go to, uh, Pasenak I think it's only like three cards up it'd be exactly the same thing so Pasenak's a now a 99 overall so pretty much what I'm trying to explain is is the three cards up and so the highest card is pretty much what I was saying right here. So this is the highest highest card and this is the lowest card. So this is the trade value and then this guy just threw in between these cards. So anything go under six under say it's almost seven hundred K. So under this trade value, anything go under this pass knock right here you buy you scoop up and you resell it this this the one that you just bought the ones the lowest price or the highest price so depends on where you want to do in the market uh i think i don't know if anything else is up there i think bergeron i think a couple bergeron up there too there are three bergerons up there as i have so the highest price one is 880k and then the lowest one is this one right here so pretty much everybody everything's good shit full of sitting selling his uh anything and lower than say 700k i would scoop up and then resell for the, in this price price range so it's just learning the little tricks and trades and this is what i've been learned doing a lot in the game this year just to learn I'm learning the market different way I'm like I was kind of not knowing the prices of players I was getting losing track and I sat down I was like I should just mark it down it takes three seconds to do you come on the game you look at a player and then you kind of just throw it throw it in the your keyboard you put it on your phone like we have technology you can throw on your phone like your little phone here you put in your your pad there and then you know you have it so like McDavid's exactly the same example I think there are three McDavid's on the market 
Look at this. Everybody else is a mill, cheapest on the market. I would buy that and resell. You'll make your coins right here. Simple as that, right here. This is the best example, guys. You write it down. If you have McDavid for one f about 1.4 mil, then 3.9, and then the cheapest there, this is the cheapest one on the market, you'll get pretty much close to a mil coins right here. And this is how you, this is how you do it. So if somebody wrote down McDavid for this and then they come back today to recheck and then see that and look at their graph on Zyno ones, look at this. I don't know why the people putting them cheaper. Uh, that's the cheapest on the market. You make coins, then you then you go, oh, McDavid's this price. Like, it'd be like, McDavid's at this price right here. So then I, 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 can, I can buy him on this price. So I'm like, oh, you know? And then you make a coin. That's how that's how this people do sniping too a little bit. Because Pete, there's so many cards out there. As you can tell, there's so many cards out here this year, boys. Like, look. Look how many cards that we have out here. Best NHL. Like, there's so many cards that came out this year. And we can do it. So, hopefully this kind of helped out, guys. If you need to live with more help, uh, I'll throw a, a, a spreadsheet into the comments or the description so it helps you out, guys. I'm going to try to grind this out a little bit more. It's kind of hard now because at the end of the season, you can't really work the market too much because it is the end of the season. But like Legends too, uh, if you have Legends, some Legends, do, do this, you can do the exactly the same thing. With the legends, uh, I think the best legend. I think I flipped. I bought one on the weekend for 50k, and I sold them about 200k. So it depends on you can do the exactly the same thing. I buy him because people were selling them cheap, and then I bought him for high. See, like now he's going about 200k again. You just have to find the fight. It's the same thing you do. Write down highest card. Yeah, then you'd be highest card here. Cheapest card. It'd be around here. This is the cheapest card in the market. So this then everything else goes under that. Works. This works out, guys. Let me know if you need a little more help about it. Hope you guys enjoy this guys. Don't forget to like it, subscribe to it, dance it, guys, and I'm guys. Peace.